Hello and welcome to the point of the week. This week we're going to take a look at stomach 36. Now stomach 36 is one of the most common points that's used to treat most ailments, most disorders. If you look in any text you're going to find extensive literature that will outline the use of stomach 36 more than any other points in the body. Now if I had to choose one point in the body and no other point, this would be the point. It will address many, many, many conditions. It's a very effective very potent point in what it actually does and what it can actually achieve and it's uh, as i said it's one of my favorite points so this point should most definitely be in your bag of tricks if you are treating musculoskeletal and especially if you're treating sports individuals as to what this point can actually do for the actual individual itself this point is actually located three sons distal to the apex of the patella of the knee and it is one sun lateral or one finger's width lateral um, to the lateral border of the tibial tuberosity. So easy enough to locate. There's a number of ways that you can actually locate. I tend to use slightly different methods to locate it, but you can palpate and it's, you'll feel a little small depression um, as you actually palpate this point. And you'll know when you're on it because you'll get a kind of a funny sensation. And same again, when you're needling it, sometimes you may well get shooting distension coming away from that actual point in itself. Now, just to, an overview of the general indication of this point is generally it's a strengthening point. A lot of literature will tell you it will strengthen, particularly if the people are in, in Ill, Ill health. And also for athletes, it will help to strengthen and very good for rehabilitation. But we'll take a look at that in a second. Neurological disorders is going to be one of the most effective points when addressing neurological disorders. And also it's a metabolic and a homeostatic point. So if you're treating anybody with conditions such as diabetology, then that is going to be a very important point to actually consider as part of your treatment protocol. It's one of the most common points that's going to be actually utilised for treating the knee. And it's going to be one of the most common points in particular for treating things like ankle disorders. If we look at it from a neurological perspective, if you're looking at a rehabilitation of the joint and you're looking at enhancing joint um, proprioception, then this is going to be one of your key points of choice for enhancing joint proprioception. One well, of the main reasons for that is if you look at the needle instrument 36, put the head into a functional MRI scan, you'll find it'll have a strong effect on the somatosensory cortex. Now, the somatosensory cortex is where all your nerve endings will actually terminate with regards to joint position sense. So therefore, it's going to have a strong effect on joint proprioception rehabilitation. So it should be used alongside to encourage that. Also, it's one of your main points that's going to be utilised for nerve conductivity and enhancing nerve conductivity. So neurological repairs, it's a very important point for any kind of soft tissues and neurological repair. So it's going to be important that you do choose that point on that basis. Most common point for post-stroke uh, rehabilitation, so again, neurological perspective of that, um, hemiplegia, so it's gonna be an important point to be chosen uh, to actually address those kind of disorders. Now, with regards to muscle strength, this is where most of my personal research lies. You know, I've published a number of papers with regards to the use of stomach 36 and its effect directly on enhancing muscle strength. A number of studies that has actually been uh, published by TODA, which has actually demonstrated one of the mechanism of stomach 36 enhancing muscle strength is in its ability to release carnitine into the blood circulation. And it's understanding what the effect of carnitine have on muscles and muscle strength. Its main effect is directly on the mitochondrial cells. It allows the mitochondrial cell membrane to be more permeable to long chain fatty acids and it allows those fatty acids to come into the um, mitochondrial cells and once they're actually in there it allows the mitochondrial cells to utilize them more efficiently it's more like turning the muscles from a gas guzzling um, machine to something like a hybrid where or electric car for example so therefore it's going to run more efficiently it reduces um, oxidation within uh, the mitochondrial cells it reduces the amount of free radicals that's going to bombard in around there therefore it reduces 
DOMS, it reduces muscle damage that will actually occur from oxidation and free radicals that's going to bombard running around the cell. So therefore, reduces the, the onset of DOMS, reduces the onset of lactate buildup, and also allows a recovery of the individual. So in other words, you're going to find athletes can train harder, recover quickly. So this is one of the points that you're actually going to utilise with regards to enhancing muscle strength and performance in athletes along with certain other points. So it is quite an important point with regards to that. Um, once you start looking at tissue repairs, along with stomach, uh, with spleen six, this point, these two points will enhance repair of bone, tendons and ligaments. It will outperform points such as the urinary bladder 23 and kidney three with regards to increasing bone repair and also the density of bone. So those two points um, together have been shown to do that. So it is important, not just that, if you start to look at, um, if you start to look at with regards to collagen and your different types of collagen, it allow type one collagen to be laid down in tendons as opposed to type two collagens. So therefore, it allows the tensile strength of that tendon to be that much stronger. So studies have actually demonstrated needling, spleen six, stomach 36, those two points will allow your type one collagen to be laid down and not your type two to be laid down in a more haphazard manner. And therefore it allows the repair and also the strength of the tendon to be that much greater. So those are quite important once you start to look at more your repair of tissues and again, any kind of soft tissues, it will outperform many other points with regards to uh, allowing that to happen. So if you start to look at um, your macrophages, the different types of macrophages, you've got your type one, type two. Type one is inflammatory, and your type two is pro-anti-inflammatory. And those two points, spleen six and your stomach 36, will convert your macrophages from being a type one into a type two, which is pro-anti-inflammatory. It will also reduce the amount of leukotrienes um, within the area and also your necrotic cells, um, tumor necrotic type cells. So they are pro-inflammatory cells. It's been shown to significantly reduce those type of cells within the area and particularly people with general inflammatory disorders, whether it be rheumatoid arthritis. Um, so those particular kind of conditions those two points have been demonstrated to reduce inflammation generally throughout the body. I use it quite extensively on my son. Once he has a flare-up, he's got juvenile idiopathic arthritis. I, I can utilise it on one day. The following day, I can significantly bring down the swelling, utilising those points in particular, and he responds quite well, not just to needling, but also applying pressure to those points. So... In addition to that, if you start to look at the gastrointestinal, it's one of the main points you're going to use for gastrointestinal disorders. With it being out in the extremities, and particularly in the leg, it will have more of a parasympathetic effect on the um, gastrointestinal system. So therefore, it'll have more of a suppressive effect on the sympathetic pathways to the gastrointestinal tract. Therefore, increasing motility of the gastrointestinal tract and also increasing circulation to that area. So therefore making it more effective um, in its use. So they're one of the key things that you want to consider about the points. If you palpate the point at any time, uh, anybody uh, presenting with gastrointestinal disorders, then what you'll mainly find is stomach 36 will be tender to palpation. Now, one of the other key areas, again, Looking at studies where they've used functional MRI scans, you're going to find, with regards to that, it'll have a direct effect on the hypothalamus and the limbic system. Now, with regards to the hypothalamus, not as great as what something such as, uh, points such as large intestine four. That's going to be more effective at affecting the hypothalamus and the pain pathways than stomach 36. But however, stomach 36 have been shown to have a strong effect on that. In addition to that, it's got a strong effect on the limbic system. If you understand what the limbic system does, it, it controls hunger, sex drive, addictions, things such as that. So therefore, anybody who's um, anxious, depressed, um, stressed, stomach 36 will have a strong effect at reducing um, the activity within the limbic system. Because once they become stressed, 
um, or in pain, the activity in the limbic system will actually increase. Summit 36 has been shown to be able to suppress the actual limbic system and therefore it's a very, very good point for treating certain psychological disorders. Thank you for listening. I hope you find though this point very, very useful within your clinical setting. If you are treating sports or any musculoskeletal disorders, this is going to be your main, main point of choice. If you've got any questions with regards to this point or any other point, then by all means, email me. You can get me at info at stevebaileyacupuncture.com.